I am so excited to show you guys what was once an idea, then a 3D render, and now it's a fully furnished production space. Our client literally had a vacant house. She said, here are the keys. I don't want another Airbnb. I want to make a production content house. I said, say less. She has four bedrooms in this massive, massive house. We are gonna go room by room by room. We're gonna create a series for YouTube, showing you guys what it truly takes to create a whole content house. And let me tell you, this house is massive. Each room is gonna be its own episode in this YouTube series. And let's start with our upstairs bedroom. And it all started with this render. Now that we have our measurements made, Homestyler literally recreates the room. They even put the windows where they're at. It's amazing. Now that our room's made, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in items that I know we absolutely want. And these are smaller items. They're not the big ticket items yet. And this is important because this is a prop room, this is a photo shoot room. So these little details are really gonna matter and make a difference when our guests are gonna book our space versus other spaces. So now that I have our little decor items, we're going for a little boho vibe, I then select the kind of style accent chairs that I want. And I really, really wanted that deep coffee brown. I absolutely loved it threw in a coffee table. And the best part about Homestyler is that you really get to see the room from all different angles. And that's when you really get to play around with it. Then once we were kind of done doing that, we just export it from different angles and we send it to our client and our client then approves or makes edits as needed. Once our client sees the render and they approve with all edits, we then go and source all the product. And this is the most important part because we have to stay within our client's budget and we have to make sure the quality of the items is A1. So we found these awesome chairs on Wayfair and hint, hint, it's January. So Wayfair had end of the year sale. So everything we bought actually was only $780. So this is just the initial big furniture that we're getting. And then once we put everything together, we are actually gonna go shopping for some little decor items. This space, it's huge, it's so open, it's so bright. Like we have no lights on and I hope I look great. Oh my gosh, I love this color. This is exactly the brown we were looking for. It's masculine, it could be feminine, it could be for a really great interview, it could be for a photo shoot. So when we were designing this particular room, we kind of were thinking like who our demographic is, which that's so important in your Airbnb business, your peer space business just kind of knowing who you're marketing towards. When we order furniture, I like to go with the big, big items to kind of get that out of the way of the budget. Here we are, this is our first install day. We are setting up chairs, the rug, the mirror, unpacking all the boxes, and yes, it is a workout, let me tell you. See, these are good interview chairs. This is a nice, easy to vacuum rug. So this is our render, so our reference point for this project. And the rug and the chairs look pretty freaking good, I will have to say. So, our cute rug is so wrinkly, and I have no idea what to do right now. But I think we're gonna leave it overnight with some heavy stuff in the corners, maybe stretch it out. I think a good seam later, but we're gonna give it a few hours to kind of deflat. So as we were building this room, Amazon came with our new Yale lock. So since this is a content house, every room's gonna be a little bit different. They're gonna be having different bookings. So every door is gonna have its own separate digital lock. That way, when we book room A, those people cannot go to room C. And that is the end of day two. Curtain day which is like one of the last things we got to do. And we finally decided to do beige. Love that it's so organized. You guys, I need a manicure desperately. So we have a professional curtain hanger coming. Yeah, you. This one is black. Oh, this is the table. Okay. Gotta build it. You guys, we got the cutest little item from a vendor on Amazon. And it's so inexpensive. 
and it's just gonna bring a little life to this wall. Um, and then we also got these super cute little tea lights that we can like play around with and like make it like a little moody in here. I think curtains are like one of the most important aspects of a room. They could really make or break a room. And it's so good for production space because it like captures sounds and diffuses light and they just look so classy. I really love curtains. So if Berto did everything correctly, these should just literally hang up. Okay, okay. Looking good, looking good. Perfect. So we have two more to go. <laughs> I know, we need a name for the space. We're about 85% done and it's so cute. I love it. I really do love it. I think it's such a good space to hold filmed interview, conversation, photo shoot. We have spent all Sunday morning putting a lot of finishing touches up. We're about 85% there. I'm gonna do a little shopping, but look how cute it is. I think it's just the cutest thing. I think we're gonna do a floor to ceiling gallery wall. So I'm gonna go to Michael's and see what kind of frames I could get for the low low and then put some prints in there. And I'm really excited about it. Guys, it's our last day of install. Four super long days later, with the help of our handyman and the help of our consultant interior designer, Nicolette, we'll tag her in the video. We have finished this room. I am so excited. All we have left to do is put up the last minute gallery wall that we've decided to do. And we're really gonna eyeball it. All the products you see here are primarily from Amazon. They're linked in my store. I love a good fourth quarter last minute decision. And this is one of my best ones yet. We decided to make an art gallery wall. Here we are creating a little more juice to the space. And I really think it really brought it all together. And yes, we did this on the same day as photos, which maybe stressed out my photographer, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna look so amazing. And now we're on to listing photos. our first episode of this content house series. We are so excited to show you the next room. We're gonna break ground in about five days next week. Here's a little preview. You're gonna love it. It's so cute. Anyway, such a different vibe. We actually could not have done this room without a consult of a very good friend of ours we met on TikTok. The listing is linked below. We are on Gig Therapy, Space Basler, so many other platforms, but if you're a designer or you have any crazy content ideas that you wanna see, make sure you comment below, you like, you subscribe to our channel, because guess what? We are starting again. We're breaking ground in five days next week and we're doing this all over again. Render was approved.